Hi, I'm Mark Melling. I'm the CEO of Melling Engine Parts, and uh, we're here in Jackson, Michigan today. We're getting ready for our Melling Supports Cars Rally outside. We've got all our race car drivers. We've got all our performance vehicles. We've got Copos. We've got a lot going on today. And really, this is we're rallying around the cause of keeping a choice in your vehicles moving forward. We're very concerned that the EPA has put in some regulations that really will allow us not to have a choice in the future. And if the government's thinking that only electrical vehicles are gonna be the thing, we kinda of wanna talk about that a little, whether that's good for our very large industry of performance. And um, I can tell you that I was at the SEMA rally in Washington and 100% convinced that a lot of the politicians in Washington want us to be 100% EV by 2032. And it's definitely got me concerned. It's the reason we put this rally together. We just wanted to talk about that a, a little bit. Brendan uh, is my son down here at the end. This is Aaron Stanfield, recent NHRA winner and Erica Ender, six time world champion. So uh, Brendan, what are you thinking? You're a young man and you look at these regulations and they're saying, you know, you're only gonna have a choice to buy a battery here by the time you're 30 years old. Yeah, so uh, like Dad said, we attended a SEMA PRI event in DC and it was very clear that the government is choosing the vehicle for us. They want by 2032 uh, to set an emission standard that would require 67% of vehicles sold to be EV. And that would pretty much saturate out the market. We are fighting for the cause of the internal combustion engine because I believe in the internal combustion engine. I think that if we invest in it, continue to find other forms of fuel and way to make power, that the marketplace will decide. There are people in Washington that have our backs. Uh, one of those people is Congressman Tim Wahlberg. He has sponsored the CARS Act, which is Choice and Automobile Retail Sales Act. And this is combating that emission standard and would eliminate the EPA's ability to set that emission standard to require that percentage of uh, automobile sales to be such a high number EV. Um, so, and we really appreciate Congressman Wahlberg for everything that he does, especially as a member of our district here in Jackson. Absolutely, yeah. So as we worked along, Aaron, who's not only a driver, but also works on the engines himself, his family has an engine building business, uh, uses some Melling products, so which we're always very thankful of. Uh, Aaron, does this, con this has got to concern a lot of people. Very concerning. I mean, this is a very big industry. The high performance or, or internal combustion engines, um, I think we should have the, the right to be able to drive what we want and the, the, the right to be able to repair our vehicles. And, and uh, yeah, I mean, coming from somebody that makes his living on building high performance engines, this is, uh, this is scary stuff that we got to got to address. So, yep, I, I want to be able to continue driving in internal combustion engine race cars and, and continue to be able to build them. Erica, I mean, you know, you've, you've had six world championships and, and last I knew, not one of them were electrically driven. No, definitely not. <laughs> How do you feel about what's going on here? Um, I think it's really important and we all have a voice that we, uh, we need to put into act um, through the ballot box. So we got to pay attention to what's going on. Obviously, we don't want to be controlled. We want to have the right to choose. And um, as a race car driver from the time I was eight years old, uh, I enjoy that part of it. I, I work on my engines as well. You sell the parts that we need to run them. And uh, so it's, uh, it's super important. And nobody wants to drive a race car that doesn't have any sound. Amen, amen. <laughs> there's not all the soul in that, is there? No, there's no, none. No. So at Melling, we're really supporting the SEMA PRI packs. Uh, we're supporting candidates that uh, will have choice in your vehicles moving forward. And uh, we thank you for tuning into this segment and just learning a little bit more about what's going on in the industry. And we hope uh, that you'll support the SEMA and PRI packs.